Yeah, I'd agree with that. I don't think Corbin's anti-Semite. I strongly suspect that's just a propaganda campaign against him. Canada can't release Britain unless they own all of it. Well, no, 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 mine. Mine, 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 mine. Right, so it kind of looks like... Who's even at war? Entente's at war with them. Entente's at war with them. Qing and Japan are at war. Uh, except they're not really. Nobody has lost anyone in this war. This is the most non-war that there has ever been in the history of wars. Or non-wars. Haiti and Dominica are still... F Do they even have that many people in their population? How is that war still going on? Oh. I st I... How are you still in this war as well, Ethiopia? Service by requirement, all adults serve. I mean, I know this is a difficult war having fought it myself, but that's obscene. Especially as you're the one guarding the, the high ground. How have you lost so much? That's crazy. And then, the really big one. Has there actually been any movement? Oh yeah. They've both gained one province from each other. Haiti, 60k manpower. 34k manpower, though they are one... No, all out of service one further ahead, isn't it? Service by requirement is, yeah, one further back. Yep. So it looks like Dominican Republic is losing right now. But who has the industry? Two factories versus two factories. Nine divisions versus seven. This is how you do a civil war. This is how hard they should be. Right, technologies. Let's go and grab level three encryption. So that I can really get the tactical bonuses. Then I do strongly feel like I should be trying to fabricate on uh, the Austrians. Obviously. Actually, Trieste really is part of Italy, I believe. So we'll go ahead and claim that. Now I just need to hope that urbanization gets finished first. It should do. And I've gained a lot of factories from this. Double check, I don't have any super heavy battleships sneaking around in that army. Uh, navy? I don't. It's fine. Mm. 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 I'm just going to keep going hmm to myself. Mm. Do I need radar? I'm not sure that I do. We could probably do with some naval doctrines. Do we need naval or uh, air doctrines? We should probably get naval doctrines. As we will be fighting the Entente at sea. Well, first of all the Austrians, but I'm... Really not concerned about the Austrian Navy. That's a fight we should be able to win. Manpower is increasing nicely.
Cheburik, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. I seem to have 38 tech. Oh, I do. I'm spotted. The demand for steel seems to go up and down. Alright, you are not exporting as much as I need. I'm not buying from you. Russia, buddy. And we'll get some more rubber from the Netherlands. Glorious. I have a lot of civilian factories. Crikey. I have 60 just being used on actual production. And are these northern areas actually fully developed? No. <laughs> no, they are not. Alright, well, that's the next thing I need to do is build some roads in these areas. They'll repair themselves over time. That's not a huge problem. Although, if I'm going to be fighting Austria, then I need to get supplies through here. I could do it by sea. It's fine. An auto trader would be a really good idea for the UI in this game. Yeah. For this game, yeah. For a game like this, no. I think they've already simplified trade far too much. Factory output plus five. Production efficiency growth plus five. That sounds good. A focus on infrastructure investments allows the fine captains of our industry to focus on the proper endeavours. That doesn't sound market liberal at all. Ooh, the other thing I should probably do before we actually undertake anything is a little bit more training. And now I'm actually happy to be gaining the experience, so this is fine. The other thing I should probably do is actually get some more units. I think I'm going to get some more of the Division Fantasticas. Five? I am amazed I have the tanks for that. Only just. That's fine. Yeah, this is fine. Iran fell to the Ottomans, didn't they? They did. That's a lot of troops heading over. Are they preparing for a war against Austria? I do believe that they are. Yep, they have seen my justification for war and they're like, you know what, Mordred? That's a really good idea. We should totally get involved with that. You guys are still training. Cool. You guys are doing your thing. Cool. We still have a, hundreds of thousands of guns. Cool. I'm wondering if I want to send some of the guns to uh, Germany. Kind of curious how many guns they actually have, like, stashed away somewhere.
Oh man, there are so many troops on the way over here. This is going to be a rather large Barney. Oh, we finished. We have our next super heavy. Glorious. Begin building another one. With all of the dockyards, obviously. Although it is... <laughs> New Year's Eve, 1943, and it's now 1944, which means I could research the Super Heavy 4. Uh, 2, even. Super Heavy 2. It's Battleship 4. Um, which I'm tempted to do. Now we're not going to hold off. I mean, how long is this ship going to take to build? 1.1 year. That's just over a year. Well, I, I guess that just means that we have time to research it. We don't need to rush it. And when's my claim ready? Oh man, 75 days. Do any of my generals have promotions? Uh, yes. Yes, they do. Reinforce rate, division recovery rate is quite a good one. Max planning plus 10. Ooh, tempting. Division recovery rate is also very good, but that has not been my problem. I think against Austria we are going to need max planning. So that's your thing. Uh, you don't have anything else to promote, so never mind. You could take infantry expert, but we don't have any infantry in your army, so that is irrelevant. Or we could have more entrenchment and recon bonus when entrenched. Not particularly relevant, I don't think. Oh, we might actually gain urban fighter. Although we're not going to be fighting in very many cities. This this was more from Italy and Britain. And you're not even close to any of them. And I still haven't put any militia in Britain, though. Now that I have Germany on my side, well, when we go up against the uh, British, we will need to, the Entente. So actually what I should probably do is train up another crew of militia just just so we have somebody over there defending. We'll gain 10. That'll give us a, a fallback line at the very least so that we can chip in reinforcements. Why am I attacking Austria? Because I'm bored! And also I want Trieste. But mostly because I'm bored. And it would be a fairly easy fight because Germany is there. Russia is all around here. Right, so all of the industrial things are done with the exception of the synthetic. Naval is being worked on. We could work on super heavies. We could actually have got that ahead of time. I'd forgotten about this. We could totally have gotten this ahead of time. Yeah, go ahead and work on that. And I might actually just cancel the one that I'm working on right now. We haven't worked on it for very much. I'm going to build convoys until we've got the super heavy battleship research finished. And then we'll start working on that.
So, people aren't shipping me guns and stuff anymore, but that's <laughs> probably okay. It's only really the medium tanks that I'm a little bit short on. Mechanized we're getting a good quantity of, and of course, we're actually building a bunch of things, so it's fine. Fleet in being... We'll go and grab Battle Fleet Concentration, so we can get the Search and Destroy and Organization bonuses. Public works in progress. Okay, so we can contain extremism, which will dramatically reduce the national populists and radical socialists, or stability. Stability in this game is pointless, so we're going to go for the national populist reduction. Although they really don't control very much. Well, it's 5%. And radical socialists, who control 2%. So we're going to basically gain back 7%, which will be split between everyone else. I think. I don't think that just goes to me. Uh, wait, what was... Th oh, that, that was... Ah, we've got all of the encryption decryption. Awesome. So let's get rocketry so we can start looking towards getting jets. And how's the training coming? Very nearly done. Good. Wait, did you gain another thing? No, that's just combined arms. That's, but that's fine. So, Division Fanteria. Do I want to add... Never mind, I can't afford them. And I can't afford to add support companies either, so never mind. Yeah, no worries, Cold Rage. I mean, I may not necessarily agree with the majority of what you guys are talking about, um, but I enjoy reading it. It's given me a lot of different perspectives, and so long as you keep it nice, it's all good. Right, so I can get the final piece, which is going to be the decisive battle, Chief, and then we can also get the uh, Air Force, but that's less of a important thing. In fact, how many <laughs> how many planes do we think that Germany has? I'm going to say 12,000. Oh, only six. Austria? Only three. Russia? Seven. That's actually a lot less than I expected. How many do I have? One. That's an awful lot less than I expected for those guys. Oh, one month. One month until the war. Yeah, I'd like to visit Ireland one of these days. I'd I've been very, very briefly. I went to um, Shannon. And that was only because I was flying from the US back home. That was one of the best immigrations, actually, I've ever been to. It was hilarious. So I went up to the uh, the customs counter. And the uh, guard there looks me over, looks at my passport, looks me over again. And asks in a very serious voice. So you're Dutch. What's your favourite beer, then? I was like, well... Cross, obviously, so yeah, okay, you're allowed in. As you said, um, Heineken, I hope I probably would have blocked you. <laughs> That's the right answer! That's how you do immigration. <laughs> Allow people in depending on their uh, beer tr preferences. And then another one. Uh, same airport, actually. Went through... Got a uh, announcement saying, Good morning, please go to the immigration services. Good morning, please go to the immigration services. So I went to immigration and they were really confused because when they left America, they had a certain number of Americans on the flight. Yet when they arrived in Ireland, they had lost an American and gained a Dutchman. Yeah, I just switched passports. <laughs> 
goes once you're in the EU. Just like, here, I am Dutch now. I can just fly through these immigration queues. Awesome. Uh, do, 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 do. What do I need to build? I mean, this is probably supposing that all of the roads are done. They are. How many factories can I build extra? Oh, wow. I've gained a lot of factory production potential. That plus one factory in many places are actually plus two. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Do something like that. Yeah, we'll work on these. I might want to build some more naval yards as well, although honestly we're reaching the end of the game, so I doubt that I'm going to need many more heavy, super heavies. I've already got three. It's incredible the immigration services know the internet username. Can I say I'm famous? <laughs> oh, was that the declaration thingy? That was probably the declaration. No, it wasn't. 21 days. So March. End of March we can go. So, I hope everyone is ready. In fact, what I should probably do is stop you guys training. Uh, train. There you go. So, I think I'm going to put you, who are not yet trained, in a different army and just have you training separately. So that we can build up the planning preparation and everything for the other armies. More importantly, the organization. 58 on the tank division. That's actually a lot of organization for tanks. 71 for the mechanized. This is why I'm 94 on my regular infantry units. This is why mobile warfare is so ridiculous. Now imagine I was playing a Sardinia with all of the uh, modifiers. I thought actually I already have a plus 15 modifier, don't I? Something like that. It's kind of crazy. Or am I thinking... Here we go. Yeah, division organization plus 15%. Which is kind of ridiculous. I think that's actually better than Sardinia. Hope you're going to be okay in the UK after Brexit. I don't know. I would not be at all surprised if I just up and leave. And I have seriously considered it. I mean, it really does depend on, like, the the deal reached for us Europeans still here. Commandi. And if it's not good enough, I will just leave. Like, what I really would like is just a stamp in my passport saying, yeah, you can come back. And I'll just bugger off to the Netherlands or Denmark or Germany or somewhere. Super heavy battleship level 2. Glorious. I am going to switch you to the Super Heavy Battleship Mark II's, which you will go and place in the battle fleet. Wow, you're expensive. Crikey. Thankfully, I have a really big industry now, so I can afford this. Construction time's actually gone down, though. 1.08 years. Interesting. Um, right, you guys are deployable. So go ahead and deploy. New army. Main army. Uh, you can be commanded by th this. This dude. And your job is just to defend that. And I'm going to call you. <laughs> you are my colonial army. Going to the colonies over in England. And then you are the home army.
Technology. Right, so that was the Super Heavy, which I don't need to do any more of. Not bothered about those. It is 44, so I probably... Ah, no, I want the Mechanized 3. Which also increases Mechanized Infantry Soft and Hard Attack. Even if you don't upgrade to the new model. Yeah, we want that. So actually... Curious. Because I don't really do mechanized armies very often. So mechanized 2 has not got any soft attack. Okay, so the soft attack is tied to the infantry equipment quality, I guess. This is purely the movement speed, the defense, the breakthrough. The armor, which goes up quite a lot, and then the piercing. Yeah, the, 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 the biggest improvement here is the hardness and the armor. Loads more durable, and also the speed. So up to this point, medium tanks are actually faster, but at this point, the mechanized is actually faster, and they're quick enough almost to keep up with the light tanks. Okay, they're not actually quick enough to keep up with the light tanks. But yeah, we'll be moving at 10 kilometers per hour, which is pretty sweet. I'm just double checking chat here. Make sure everyone's being nice. I'm pretty sure you are. Just watching your invasion in the UK. Hello, Awakened. Behind the time having to work, I discussed it with the AI cheating. Guess wasting my time playing Heart of, uh, buying Heart of Iron 4. Uh, if Heart of Iron 4 is the only game you have, Kent, then I feel sorry for you. You should really get European Universalis. I would consider that to be their top one. Uh, EU4 and Crusader Kings 2 are both great. I just don't play as much of them as I'd perhaps like, because I just frankly don't do as well on YouTube or Twitch. But I do, as a game, prefer them. And the AI in EU4 is actually pretty decent. 